is going on everyone? This is Elkolov back here yet again, bringing you the second episode of our Spyro the Dragon Let's Play. And in the last episode we got, I think, 8 dragons uh, total freed, and we completed the home in Stone Hill. So today we're going to go do Town Square, uh, Dark Passage, as well as, I think, Toasty the boss. So yeah, let's go and do probably Dark Passage first, since that'll be nice and quick. And yeah, guys, or uh, Dark Hollow, I mean. I keep calling it Dark Passage. <laughs> But that's later on, I think, in the game. But yeah, guys, it's been about over, <clears throat> I think, a week or so since I did the last episode. And I've been really busy with school. Just finished up some projects. So I got some final projects coming up to do. But it'll be very simple. And yeah, this this level honestly has some of the best music in, in my opinion, uh, the Artisan's Homeworld. I love this theme song. So awesome. Stuart Copeland did such a great job. Alright, so let's go and jump up here. Eventually we're going to have to come back and get this. Uh, unlock that chest over there. Got this big enemy here. But yet, yeah, this level I remember it so vividly from the demo. Which I got for the PS1 back in 1999, I think my uncle gave it to me. I played it when I was like 2 or 3 years old. <laughs> but yeah guys, here's the uh, next dragon, Alvin. Oh, it's you. I would be sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. <clears throat> of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of it. Alright, guys. That was number nine on our list here. And, uh, it's just gonna be really quick here. I'm also gonna purchase uh, Spyro 2 because I'm gonna be doing that. I'm also gonna be starting Sly 2 uh, coming up very soon, probably this week. And I'm also going to be doing Jack and Daxter, I'm going to start that up. And I'm going to actually continue on, um, what's it called? Crash Bandicoot, because I, I haven't played that game in so long. There we go. Got those enemies. And I used to love lighting these things up when I was a kid. The, uh, fires over here. I like how that looks. And I can't wait for the new Spyro to come out. That was, that's also something big that happened since I did the last episode. Is that the the new Spyro thing was released, so it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the graphics and everything. There we go. We left a gem right here. We're also gonna have to go down that passageway. That's kinda weird, it's a dark passageway in Dark Hollow. <laughs> Alright, and as you can see this level's very short. <clears throat> we got a dragon right here. This is Darius. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Okay, he's basically telling us the same thing about those the, uh, different enemies. There we go. For some reason, this enemy used to be a bitch when I was a kid. I also want to start playing uh, Conflict Desert Storm for the PlayStation 2. That was one of my favorite games. And I was thinking about purchasing Croc, uh, The Legend of Gobos, I think it's called. Because that game was really awesome for my childhood, too. Alright, so, pretty much completed this level. We just have a one passageway in the chest, and then we'll be good. We'll head off to Town Square, and then the flight level too, I forgot about that. But the flight levels are easy. I used to be very good at the flight levels. Hopefully I, I still am. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. Here's the next passageway. We're gonna have to wait till this guy turns around, there we go. You could tell I played Spyro a few times. <laughs> I think we got an egg thief in here or something. No, we don't have an egg thief. That'd be cool if we did, though. Yeah. Oh, shit. Take that, bastard. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, no, the, the key's over here. For some reason, I thought there was an egg thief. I love the colors in here, though. It's so beautiful. There we go. Got the key. Let's go and get the remaining gems on the floor. Just like that. Alright, nothing over here. Oh wait, yeah, we got a sneaky bastard. Alright, and almost good. Perfect. Let's go get this. Oswin. Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> All right, number eleven, and I love that Tom Kenny, the voice of Spire, or uh, the voice of what's his, what's it called, SpongeBob. He did the voice for uh, Spyro. 
I thought that was a nice touch they added. And I believe he's still gonna be doing it in the, uh, the remaster, re re reignited trilogy, I guess. So that's pretty cool. This video will be uploaded on the 10th. I'm just recording this in between my break from class. Oh wait, we have to go back and get the chest. So I had some free time to do a quick episode. There we go. Let's unlock this. And that should be everything, I hope. Yes, perfect. Alright, we got everything, guys. So we completed Dark Hollow. Beautiful music. Really nice atmosphere in this level. I can't wait to see the remastered of it. And let's return home and go to Town Square. And then we'll hit the, hit up the flight level. And Toasty's really simple, too. And then we'll head off to uh, Peacekeeper's homeworld, which is really nice, too. Alright, back in Artisans. Let's go ahead over here. I believe, yeah, we already got Stone hip, uh, done. That's a nice little level. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's head off to Town Square. Really hope you enjoy. This level has some great music too, and some cool little level design. They're, the first egg or the second egg thief is in this one, so pretty tricky too. If you know, I like the chickens that you could kill here. <laughs> These chickens are so funny. There we go. The one thing I don't like about this game is that sparks won't eat the extra butterflies that give you another life, in, like in Spyro 2 and 3. So, that's another thing, I can't wait to get to Spyro 2. That's my favorite in the entire trilogy. From the originals, I think. Well, probably the first. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Alright, number 12, guys. We're making really good progress. And this was a cool little flight over here. There we go, got those. Perfect. Oh wait, I didn't kill that guy. There we go. I forgot if you just ram them, they get stuck in there. We got these really unique uh, little chest over here. You have to flame first now. So that's pretty cool. Let's go over here. I would love to look into the code for Spyro. I think that'd be something really interesting <laughs> to work on. Hopefully my audio is picking up decently too. I have to get a better system. For my microphone. Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. <laughs> Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Oh yeah, so that's it's basically telling us like the same stuff as before about pressing X, so I'm gonna skip past that. There we go. Yes, we got a double kill there. <laughs> yeah, this level is so beautiful. This will really look good on the remaster, too, because they can add a lot of visuals to it. I like the color scheme that they picked for it as well. There we go. Just charge through all these enemies. Perfect. See, we already have the end of the level, but there's still a lot left that we actually have to collect. By the way, guys, this, this will be... Um, pretty much all my Let's Plays from now on are going to be 100%. So I'm going to be getting everything in this game. <clears throat> All right, Alvar. This game's easy to 100%. Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've <laughs> got to track him down and, and get Here's the second egg. one. Run, run. <laughs> yeah, so that's number 14, guys, and he's basically describing uh, that there's an egg thief around here, but we're going to go take him out now. I think we have to go... Yeah, we have to go right over here. I remember it took me forever to figure that out as a kid. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> we got him in the first try. We're freaking legends. Oh wait, we left a green gem over here. And as you can see, this is really easy. Oh my god, I can't believe I got him on the first try. <laughs> That's pretty sad. There we go. This, this video should be fairly quick, too. I'm making really good progress. Let's jump over here. Get a double chest kill. <laughs> nice. I always thought this thing was a pyramid up here. It looked really weird. Oh, we got like a little windmill thing over here. 
and we have to flame a couple times. Get a 10 gem. It looks like we're gonna do it, guys. At least I think so. Perfect. Got all the gems, and this last one is Thor. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me. Ah, uh, he just said an annoying little cutscene there. You'll hear that a lot in, throughout this game. Yeah, guys, I think we got everything. Perfect. So now let's go and head to the flight level. This is like a speed run. It's only been 10 minutes or 11 minutes. And I'm just nailing through this. It's because I want to get this uploaded really quickly. Alright, so let's go and do the flight level, which is Crystal... I think Crystal Flight, if I remember correctly. And, uh, yeah, I would say the most nostalgic Spyro game out of the three from the original trilogy is, uh, this game for me. And then Spyro, probably Spyro Year of the Dragon, because I played the hell out of that, because it was released in 2000, so relatively, like, 18 years ago. But I was still a little kid. Oh, Sunny Flight, that's what it is. Alright, guys, let's go do Sunny Flight. 600 treasure. And I also like the gameplay mechanics in the second one. That's why it's my favorite. Alright. So I guess we'll go and do the trains first. I remember this being really annoying as a kid. So hopefully it, I can get it on the first try. Luckily I've been playing a lot of flying games. <laughs> there we go. Got the first one. Now let's go do this, I think. This pattern's a little messed up. Alright, we're gonna try to get the planes. Shit. Yes, we got all of them. Now let's go get this. Oh my god, this level's making me crazy. <laughs> we have to get all these gates now. Hopefully we'll be able to do it. We have 24 seconds, so we should be good. Looks like we have two more. Oh god, guys, this is so nerve-wracking. <laughs> there we go. Now let's go and find the next things. Where the hell are they? I forget where it is. Shit. I'm probably gonna fail, guys. Wait, what is it? Oh, chests. I totally forgot about the chests. Okay, let's redo it. I just want to see where the chests are. Because it's been... Oh yeah, they're right over here. Yeah, let's just do these first. I apologize for that. It's been so long, I just- I had to get a layout of the land <laughs> before I went through with this. Alright, where's the last chest? There we go. Okay, now let's go continue the pattern. This won't be hard. Now I just can't mess up. Shit, I'm getting a lag spike out the ass. Oh, damn. Perfect timing. Let's this one. Hopefully the quality is pretty good, too. Yes, we got them all. Okay, now let's circle back around. We have to hurry the hell up, too. I wish Spyro could fly a little faster. Alright, now it's time for the planes. this guy. Holy shit, I'm nailing him. Alright, where's that last goddamn plane? Yes. Okay, now we got the arches, guys. Hopefully the, the video's not too dull. I think it might be a little bit because my camera's all out of focus. Shit. Alright, that's a little better. <laughs> we can do it, guys. Two more arches left and we got it. I just kind of 
the first try I was a little unsure about the layout of the level, so... There we go, yes! Alright, now all we have left is the boss, which is Toasty, and it's really simple. Perfect. X to continue, try again, no. Alright, yes! Let's head back, and let's go and talk to uh, Toasty and confront him, which he's kind of really an easy boss. I love that one level in uh, Peacekeepers where you could fly all the way across the map and take out the uh, the crows on the things. You'll see what I mean when we get to it. I forget the name of it. I think it's called Cliff Town. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That was my favorite level from that when I was a kid. Alright, Toasty. Confronting Toasty. <laughs> The next boss in is, I think, what the hell is his name? <sighs> Honestly, I can't remember the next boss. Oh, Dr. Shemp is next. And then we have Blowhard, <laughs> which I can't believe they named something like, ooh, God damn it! I hate these dogs. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, these, this is, this part really looked cool on the, uh, the remaster. Aw, oh, son of a bitch. I'm really getting lit up by these dogs. I'm gonna have to go get some uh, dragonflies. Or kill some sheep. Butterflies, I mean. There we go. Kill him. Let's go over here. Hopefully there's some sheep up here. The music in this uh, boss is really awesome. Got a bunch of dogs. Alright, so far so good. Let's kill this dog. It kind of sounds mean. <laughs> Maybe they were inspire inspired by Michael Vick or something <laughs> to make this level. It's pretty brutal that you're killing animals in this level. <laughs> I'm surprised PETA wasn't pissed at him. You have to be careful here. I love this song, it's so epic. You could definitely feel the uh, Stuart Copeland influence in it. Alright, we've got all the gems here. Now let's go around this corner. Perfect. Is there anything else? I think we got everything. Alright, now let's go get this dragon. He's gonna tell us about Toasty. So we're going to actually listen. <laughs> Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Alright, number 16, guys. We're making really good progress. we got eight in this episode. Oh, shit. I thought something happened to my recording for a second. <laughs> but everything's good. So here's Toasty. Like I said, it's very simple. That's so all we have to do is flame him. There we go. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yes! Okay, we don't have any sparks though, so we're gonna have to be very careful here. Shit, I can't believe I don't have sparks. All right, can we do it, guys? Yes, we did it! Perfectly. And I think we got everything. Almost. We still have these things. And let's see. 100%. Yes! Okay, we got Toasty. Now we're going to head to the Balloonist. And then I'm going to end this episode. We got a shit ton of stuff done in 20 minutes. A thousand treasure. I think it's a thousand per uh, homeworld. Let's get some sparks back. There we go. Alright, so at least he ate some. Let me get some more. Alright, perfect. Golden Sparks, too. And I think we're gonna... Let's go over here first. Yeah, let's talk to the Balloonist. Marco the Balloonist. Uh, yes. We're gonna go to Peacekeepers. Our first time we're actually gonna travel on the balloon, so... 
It's pretty epic, too. I like this transition in between home worlds. And this level is really, it's pretty cool, too. I think you guys will enjoy it. Sorry that the video keeps getting dark. I have to fix my room setup. It kind of has like a medieval theme, like a like a musket shooters or whatever. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. We cover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. All right, number 17, guys. And we're going to save the game. Save it real quick. All right, perfect. So in the next episode, we'll start Peacekeepers, hopefully finish like three levels or so, maybe the uh, entire world. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. Stay tuned for more content.